Fall semester brought increased enrollment to all of South Dakota's universities. At the University of South Dakota, there are just over 4% more students on campus over last year. And, but as Kellerland's Lauren Solik explains, that slight increase also created a housing hiccup. This year, the University of South Dakota saw an almost 8% growth in first-time, full-time students. Breaking the numbers down, there's record high enrollment from Nebraska. The incoming class of international students is the largest in USD's history, and new graduate student enrollment is up over 17 percent. But specifically, the growth in the graduate side was in the computer science program, which is great. We've been working in artificial intelligence. We've got a great, some great faculty members that are working on that piece. Obviously, the, the business school, law school, medical school, the graduate level health professions. Those have always been staples for us and there's always been significant interest. Gestring says they actually had to turn away 20 graduate students because there wasn't enough housing due to renovation on some of the dorms. That's a challenge they'll have to combat in upcoming semesters as well. We haven't renovated our dorms, not significantly and certainly not in the interior since they were built. Well, this hall will be torn down, the university has an ongoing five-year project to update the other dorms. We're in conversations with local hot hotels about how might we lease up your hotel if we have the same sort of um, overflow. The university hopes to continue seeing growth in the coming years. The pandemic was difficult when it comes to enrollment, um, and there are a lot of things that were outside of our control. So now that there are some more things that are in our control, I think it's great that the campus has bought into that and, uh, and we've got the pricing right and so there's just a lot of things that are working. Um, and again, how long? That's the next, that's what we have to start working on for fall of 23. In Vermilion, Lauren Solick, Kelloland News. And this was also the first year that students in South Dakota could get the needs-based freedom scholarship, which Gestring and Polson say were big factors in helping more students afford higher education.